Okay, here we go. Get the Blender scene you want a 360 image of, for me a scene of my game that I'm working on, then place the camera where you want to render it, ideally at 90 degrees along the X rotation, and then zero for the Y. Then under camera properties, go to type panographic and pano type to extra rectangular. Then under resolution, it doesn't really matter what the resolution is as long as the X is double the Y. 6,000 and 3,000. It was going to be more, but it was going to take four hours. Now to view it on the Quest. <laughs> yeah. If you're on a Mac like me, I recommend getting the Android file transfer, which will make this a lot easier. Then all you need to do is take the cable, plug it into the Quest, and then plug it into the Mac, and allow both sides access. Once you do this, you can then access the files. And as far as I'm aware, Windows just automatically does this. Then all you've got to do is find the render in Finder and upload it to a place where you can find it on the Quest. I just did video captures. Then for actually viewing the image, unfortunately there's not a native app or really even any free ones. There is a paid one called Pegas or something like that, but I found the alternative way you can do it is just by clicking the browser, search for 360 photo viewer, and then you'll see the one by render stuff. Upload your file, which may ask for permission, then click VR viewer, and then boom, you can actually see your render. Well, hopefully this helps, and see ya! Death, death.